Woke up at 6 a.m. this morning and feel amazing. It's like midday and class hasn't even started. I am the first person in the class to present on today's reading. It is on the foundations of the Madhyamaka school of Mahayana Buddhism, which is the middle path. Google it. I'm super, 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 super excited about one thing today. I'll let you know when it happens. Led class discussion on a very exciting and contemplative mindful class. It was great. I'm headed to contemporary dance right now. Our uh, teacher actually, hey, our teacher is um, gone away in Denver today, so we're actually just watching a documentary, then we have to write up a little commentary on it, and then after that, the exciting thing happens. That was some of the weirdest shit I've ever seen, but very interesting. If I can find a link to that piece like on YouTube, I'll put it in the description. It's really weird. Clowns, a no-legged man, sexual seduction, harassment. Ugh. Okay, it's finally time for the exciting thing. So here's what I'm doing. Oh, my camera stays. So the guy who gave me this tattoo about two years ago, um, when he was giving it to me, he told me that he used to be a ceramic potter before becoming a tattoo artist. I'm a ceramic potter, and I really do want to become a tattoo artist. It's something that has been in my mind ever since I started getting tattoos, but I thought, Psh, that's not me. I could never do that. That's not my life. I just didn't identify with, like, the hardcoreness of it and the loud metal music, it just didn't seem like something I could make my own. And then after, you know, talking with this guy, James Spooner, who is the owner of Monocle Vegan Tattoo, and he was this like chill vegan activist who's also a tattoo artist, and I like to draw, and I'm just fascinated with tattoos. And recently I just had this sort of epiphany that it may be something that I want to pursue. So. The path to becoming a tattoo artist is, it's a pretty formal like mentor-master type relationship. You have to find someone who you work with sometimes for years and just shadow them. They, they you know, give you assignments, drawing assignments, teach you the sort of, you know, medical and cleanliness, sanitizing part of the whole experience. It's obviously a very skillful, hard craft that you have to learn. And you find someone to sort of be your guru. And I thought the other day, I should give that potter slash tattoo artist a call and see if he could just like help me out in any way. He has his own tattoo shop here in Colorado Springs called Bearded Lady Tattoo and I'm going over right now just to talk to him. I'm leaving Colorado Springs in three months and it's not like I think I can have start a formal mentorship relationship because I'm leaving so soon but I just want to go talk to this guy and just see what he has to offer in terms of helping me sort of get that first step so I'm excited. That was an incredibly valuable experience. So hanging out with Jeff was really, really awesome. Very grateful for the time he gave me. I stayed in that shop for about an hour. He was tattooing this woman, this like full sleeve, kind of from my shoulder down to where this tattoo ends. Um, it was like all color, it was sort of watercolor of roses and a heart, it was really cool. Um, but yeah, he gave me an insane amount of information, a lot of things to talk about um, and think about. It was sort of a humbling experience of like, look, if you wanna do this, this needs to be your full-time 110% commitment deal if you actually wanna be a good tattoo artist. I'm now gonna brew a batch of kombucha. It's gonna take two days for me to show you though because there's what I do today, then it cools overnight, and then the next step. So step number one, if you're brewing two gallons, is boil 28 cups of water. All right, that water is boiling, and now I've got this little tea bag, and I'm gonna put four tablespoons of loose leaf green tea. I'm just gonna estimate the tablespoons with the regular spoon, doesn't need to be perfect. Based on what I have read, 
most reputable sources say you really do need to use a caffeinated tea, so green tea or black tea when brewing kombucha. You can't really brew with an herbal tea. The SCOBY just doesn't feed off of it as much. Okay, got my tea. Water's boiling. Tie this sucker. And now for the carbs. Two cups of, uh, this is just raw white cane sugar. I just put it in a protein powder jug. This is sugar, not protein powder. So the way kombucha works is you essentially are making a sweet tea right now. You're gonna steep the bag and mix in the sugar and let it sit overnight so it cools. So you have a sweet caffeinated tea. I'm then gonna put it in a jar. I'm gonna actually use my, this is a jug fermentation jar that I threw on the wheel myself and I'm gonna brew in that which is just so awesome. I've been brewing in these glass jars which you can do too. Do not use plastic. So you put the tea in the fermentation jar, glass or ceramic, and then I'm gonna put a layer of SCOBY on here. You can even have a tiny little piece of SCOBY. You get it from a friend. You can order them online. They'll ship them to your house, but it needs to be healthy and alive. Um, it's kind of like a fungus, almost like a mushroom, and you put it in your cooled tea, and you'll see over a number of weeks that SCOBY will grow to the perimeter of your jar, and it'll get thicker as time goes on. Tea bag. Alright, I am working on a little rose right now, freehand, we'll get back to that later. Taking a break from my drawing to eat this masterpiece. not been uh, present for the last, I don't know, about two hours. It is 11.45, time for me to go to bed. Thought I was gonna be going to bed earlier tonight, but tomorrow's Saturday, so I can sleep in. It's a beautiful thing. Um, I just made a drawing, because obviously I was inspired today by hanging out with my tattoo artist friend, who very politely and generously gave me a whole bunch of his time while he was working. Here's what I've created tonight from start to finish, no tracing, just referenced a picture online. It's a rose. Not perfect, I have a lot to learn about this art, but I think that's pretty good drawing. I'm definitely dedicated with learning this craft, but the problem is gonna be getting too excited and invested in my projects so that I just can't stop and I go to bed late. I can't do that during the week. We'll see. Much love, everybody. Dream Extreme. If you're in the Colorado Springs area, go to Bearded Lady Custom Tattoo. Peace.